note the video do have images rather than actual video because I didn't have enough room for the fabric but then it is video recorded after that. Everybody it's Sarah here with another tutorial and this time it's a no sewing pattern required tutorial. Now for ages I've wanted to make myself what's called a wrap around pants slash skirt or we would say in the UK wrap around trousers. Now there are quite a lot of videos and tutorials on these, but they're not for bigger ladies. A lot of them are very for very skinny minis. And also I wanted a pair that I didn't have to undo loads of knots and bows to go to the low. So this is my version. I hope you enjoy. Any questions, as always, please ask. Now I've used three meters of cotton lawn so a lightweight cotton something that's nice and floaty that's about three and a half yards and the fabric was 140 centimeters wide now i've put it down and i've folded it lengthways in half now the measurements i've give, given for cutting out two rectangles can be adjusted i've worked out i need about 53 inches at the top and i've measured here 43 now this gives an approximate inside leg measurement of 28 inches but i'm going to be making this longer as i'm much taller and if you're a bigger lady you can make the top measurement bigger and if you're a smaller lady make it smaller what you need is about one and a half times your waist minimum as your length across the top okay mm -hmm. Right, once the two rectangles are cut out, put them right sides together and fold them in half. So now you have four layers of fabric and that's going to be the trouser legs in effect. At the top of the folded edge, measure three and a half inches across or approximately nine centimetres. On the long folded edge, measure from the top down 15 inches or 38 centimetres. Now between these two measurements, cut a curved line between those two points. Not a massive curve, just a gentle curve from one point to the other. Unfold and you have a U shape. Stitch both these pieces together on the U, right sides together. Right, once you've stitched all the way around the um, u-shape and um, obviously neaten the edge we're now going to do a hem on either side of the long edges and all we're going to do is turn over twice and make a narrow hem so that all four sides are hemmed right once you've hemmed all the sides like so What we need to do, you have a lot of fabric here. What we need to do is open it out so that we can do, let's just see where I am. Right, okay. So now we have almost like a trouser piece. There's a lot of fabric in this. There we are. So there's our crutch section there. <clears throat> now these top edges are where we're going to be threading elastic and um, ties. So what we now need to do is fold over and make a channel. Now I'm folding over about an inch and a half um, because of the width of my elastic and when I sew a channel here I also like to sew a top row here because it stops the elastic rolling and it stops it looking ugly and you get a nicer finish. So what I'm going to do, it's quite handy having pattern fabric, what I'm going to do is sew my channel on this edge. Remember as well to always be working on the inside and I'm going to do the same on this edge and I'll come back to you in a moment. 
next cut a piece of elastic your waist measurement minus about an inch and a half now because I want to be able to button this um, up I don't want ties to make it more complicated and make it difficult to put on and to pull down what I'm doing is I'm using buttonhole elastic and a button so what I'm going to do is I'll take my button off on one side of the elastic I'm going to stitch these together really well and on the other side I'm going to stitch those really well now if you're wondering why I've got like two or three buttons or buttonholes I want to be able to have this adjustable if I put weight on or lose weight I can move it up or down so I'm going to stitch that really well to there and stitch that really well to there make sure they're both on the same side so that the button will do up over the elastic and you haven't got it twisted round right so I've sewn I've sewn the two pieces together and I just do loads and loads of zigzag stitching over it to keep it in in place now what we're going to do is we're going to thread this through one of the channels so whichever channel that will be, will be the back of your um, trouser. Now I'm going to do it that way around because I want the button facing outward. I don't want it sticking in my back. So I'm going to put my elastic in and thread it all the way through. But make sure you don't pull it through the other side. Right, so what I've done is I've threaded my elastic all the way through the back. And I've put pins in to stop it, obviously, springing. I've checked for fit. So check for fit. If it fits okay, now stitch the elastic down here and here to secure it in place. For the front edge of the trouser, I'm going to make some ties and use those and elastic. So... This was some of the spare fabric that I had um, where I've chopped off the, the bottom and I'm going to make some ties, not obviously this wide, probably, um, probably about this width. So two strips folded over and stitched and then turned in the other way. If you haven't got a rouleau turner and you don't know how to turn something inside out, this is what I do, which is a quick, simple, easy way. What you do is you get a very large needle, double up some thread. I'm using strong button thread here, I've got quite a long length. What I do is push it, the needle through this end. Not right, so I'm pushing the needle, I'm pushing the needle through. Make sure the pointy end's facing that way so that you can push the needle all the way down to the bottom. When it comes out the other end, pull your thread taut and then just get it going at the beginning and it will turn inside out. Because it won't do it now for the camera. Once you get it going, you just pull. to speed things up for you and there we are it's round the right way so press those nice and flat so I've done my rouleau ties and pressed them flat now what I've done is I've cut a piece of elastic half of the length that I had from my waist so this is like just half my waist measurement 
I'm going to put fold over the edges of each tie just in like that put the elastic in to both sides and stitch down firmly once your elastic stitched to your ties either side we're going to thread this through the other side of the trouser where we made our fold over okay here so we're going to thread this through now so when you've done it at the back you'll have the elastic in the middle and the ties coming out either side now the only the last thing to do is to do your hem at the bottom so obviously try them on and see where you'd like to have your hem length so to wear them, do the button piece up at the front and swivel around to the back of you and you'll have a lot of fabric hanging down. Pull that fabric between your legs, grab the tie ends and bring to the front. Do those up and then you're finished and they pull up and down like normal elasticated trousers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Please subscribe. Many thanks. Bye.